Before we get started with this tutorial, I just want to mention that we, Alish, uh, are in the process of building out a, a native app for the Wix platform. So even though the rest of the tutorial is going to be based on uh, how to do it without <laughs> that native app, just know that we are in the process. So if you're watching this and it's a you know six months or a year past the published date, um, check in with us at alish.com. It may be that we've you know finalized and completed that app and it's ready to kind of uh, be installed on your Wix site and without some of the limitations that are described at the end of this video. Uh, the other thing we'll do is when we actually do publish that uh, that app, we will add a link for more information about that in the description of this video. So also, if it is, uh, you know, again, six months or a year after the published date of this video, please check the description to see if there's an update. We'll make it clear in the description uh, as much as we can that there is a new way of doing it. Great. So back to the tutorial. This is an overview on how to add an Owlish course that you've created into your Wix site. Now, uh, there's a few things that are a little choppy about this method that we are working on improving. And so we're going to we're going to make a, an updated version and build it into our platform so that this process is even smoother and easier to do. Um, but due to, the, due to the limitations of Wix, uh, they do make it a bit harder than on other platforms to integrate a course or any kind of thing into your Wix website. So we're doing our best uh, right now as a workaround. And again, we're going to be improving this process down the road. So bear with, bear with me and check for updates. Uh, we might have a, a more improved one down the future. Down in the future. All right, so we have your courses here. I assume um, you'll have a course to start with and, and you can always check our uh, other tutorials and how to build that course. Uh, I'm in the Alice dashboard and so Let's go to our Wix site, and I'm just going to kind of start with the editing experience here. This is just our general, uh, this is like a test site that I have. And what I want to first do is decide where I want to put my Alish course. I want to probably create a new page for that, actually. That's just my preference. Um, so what I'll do is create a page. I'll call this a course. Let's call it, make it a blank page. And what? Yeah, made it a blank page and now I'm going to name it. Uh, actually, this what I'll be adding is maybe interview mastery here. So let's do interview mastery. So I'll go back to my Wix site. Rename this interview mastery course. There we go. Done that now. Now I have, again, a blank page. And what I'm going to do is go to add up here. I'm going to go down to the embed code here. I'm going to click on embed HTML and it's going to stick a little box here. Now the problem with um, the way they, they've kind of built embedding of code on it, on Wix is that it's a bit limited. This is using something called an iframe. And iframes are not, are, it's not my preference for the way they've decided to do this, but this is how they do it. So I just have to follow along with what the best, we can do the best we can with what they've given us. But there are some limitations and some slight annoyances. Iframes are not my favorite technology, but they do work. Um, and so again, let's try to make the best of this. The first step would be to make this box as big as possible. Because if we embed, if we just put the code here, the course will literally sit in this teeny little box and that's not good enough. We need the course to be you know, as large as a page so that you can see the course and experience it very well. So what we'll do is, um, move this as far as we can to the edges. And I think there's even a feature about this. Let me just check on that. Um, the, if we go to settings here, there, yeah. Oh, here it is, this button stretch. Let's see if that does anything. So if we want to do that, I'd say click to full width. That way it goes all the way across. And let's see how that looks like. I'm sure we can change that, but effectively that's, that's one way. Uh, the next thing will be to enter the code. So we're going to go into our Alish backend and we're going to go to integrate. Now we don't have Wix showing up yet and that's because we haven't finalized this integration process. I'm just kind of putting this out there early for people. But down the road this will be a button that you can choose. For the meantime, we'll just use as a workaround Squarespace. It's a, kind of similar in nature to the Wix experience uh, of integration. So. Right now, I'm just going to type the name in my website. So I'll just call this Alish 
Wix, uh, Wix test. And for now, I'm just going to put a placeholder URL. This is not the final URL that we're going to be using. Actually, what I'll just do is just put this. And again, I'm just doing that to get, because I, I need the code, but it's not going to let me move through until I put something here. So this is just a blank for now. So I'm going to click that, and then I'm going to see, I'm going to take it to this page, which is the same page as going to connected sites up here. But I'm now going to see my um, script that I need to get. I'll just click on this purple ID number, and that's going to pop this up. And I'm just going to grab this uh, script and then copy. Now I'm going to go back to my site, and I'm going to double click. And just add my code here. But actually, uh, so this is the main script I need. I'm going to push this down a few because I need one more thing, and that's the bottom part too. So I'm going to be moving into entropy mastery in here, and so I need to copy this as well. And then go up back up here, and then put this off at the very top line. So typically, this is different on other platforms, but this is how we do it on Wix. We're going to put everything together on one in one box, and then click update. And then we can click close here. You're going to see an error, that's fine. And then we need to stretch this as far as we can. Now the problem is they're not giving us much height to begin with here. So the first step we need to do is adjust this page uh, height a little bit. So I'm just going to first bring this down and try to add some height. Now how much have I added? It's kind of, I'm going to have to play with it basically. And again, this is something that you wouldn't really have to worry about on other platforms, but with Wix, this is how you have to kind of do it. I'm just going to give myself what I think is enough space. It's not. It may we may need to adjust this down the road, but for now this is enough space. Just kind of you know wing it, I'd say. Um, also, I don't like that this is going all the way to the edge because there are margins here. But let's we'll worry about that later. Um, now the box needs to be adjusted to the bottom of what I just did. So now I've got to take this and stretch this little HTML box down to where the light green meets the dark green. So there and stop there. So now this HTML box is as big as the um, uh, the page height, and that should be enough right now. So I'm just now going to uh, publish, and I think that should be what I need. But just let me just check. Yeah, that should be what I need. So I'm going to go publish. Click the view site so I can see the actual published site. I see my course up here, uh, the page for that, I should say. And I should see that that error, which is what I was expecting to see. So, um, how do we now turn this from an error into an actual um, uh, course? So this is where things get a little um, more difficult for now until uh, our next update, where we'll be releasing a much easier approach to this that won't require this next step. Um, and so here's what we're going to do. In, if you're using Chrome, this is what we'll be using. Um, there's a similar method for Safari, for Firefox, but I'll just show you the Chrome method just because it's the most common browser. I'm going to go up and um, I believe it's under two, is it in a tab? No. Well, that's okay. I'll just do it this way. I'm going to right click on my, um, with my mouse. I'm going to click uh, this button here called Inspect. Okay, so that's what typically most Chrome browsers will have the ability to do that. And then I'm going to click on this little arrow button. And now I'm just going to go up to the page and click on um, effectively this little warning here. Now what I'm going to look for in this code that shows up is two things. Number one, I want to look for the word iframe. And I see it, you know, so it won't be on the line that's highlighted, but it'll be somewhere above there. And I see the iframe right here. And once I click on height, and once I see iframe, I can click on it if I want. It doesn't matter to me. Um, this is what I'm looking for. This unique code, um, I'm sorry, this unique URL is what I want. And so all I'm going to do is, again, right click. And I'm going to try to copy this link. So there's in Chrome, there's something called copy link address. So I'm going to try to copy that. Or I could also double click somewhere and try to edit. Or you can do it like edit as an attribute. And I could probably grab it this way and also copy. That's another way you can do it if, if the other method doesn't work. Once I've highlighted that, I'm just going to, again, copy it. And I'll just right click there as well. Now I have the, the URL that I need. And so remember when we put, um, we use test.com in this, I'm going to change that now. So test.com is what we put in initially. I want to go over here to edit. And then I want to over to 
complete this and then just paste in the paste in the real one now. Oh, there we go. And now that can happen. Now that's really long, kind of silly looking. Um, but that's um, what it needs for now to get it working. And click update. And now all I have to do is go to my course again. And simply I'm going to close this out here. And then I'm just going to refresh. And let's see my correspondence. So this is um, the method of in, embedding this into a Wix site. Um, like I say, there will be an update down the road for Elish that will allow a much smoother integration uh, as best we can get it. However, that said, because this is always going to sit in something called an iframe, which is again, the least, of I least ideal way to embed either a YouTube video or a form or an Alish course on your Wix website, it's still going to be one of the more limited platforms that works with Alish. And that's just something that we as, as the people at, uh, at Alish, we can't change that. That's something that Wix has full control over. They're, they've made this decision to make it, to make all embeds sit in something called an iframe. And the reason that's relatively difficult for, um, for us to deal with is because iframes can be really rigid. And so there's that flexibility that you might find in another, um, uh, in other platforms with terms of uh, embedding an Alish course. It's just gonna be more rigid on Wix. So if, you, if that's a problem for you, if you're finding that the course is just not acting the way you want it compared, you know, compared to how you would expect it, um, that may very likely be the reason. It's very, <laughs> my guess is that is the reason. And so you might also try integrating your Alice course on something like Weebly to see just if there's an improvement or Webflow or any of the other uh, platforms out there that can integrate with WordPress, um, Duda, all that stuff. So there's other options out there. And so if you're still not sure about Wix and you're kind of testing things out, just know that that is one of the limitations of embedding uh, a course onto Wix is that there's some, uh, there's some technical issues there. Cool. Hopefully this helps and let us know, as always, if you have any questions that we can help you with.